Hello students, very good morning. So this lecture we will discuss the construction and working of a methanol oxygen fuel cell. So this is a very important topic, right? So idi manaku uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell kante. So idi eco-friendly fuel cell and also the output voltage is greater than the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. That is the important uh, by using methanol oxygen fuel cell. So, manamu, uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell to compare chase guda, manaku is eco-friendly. So, there is no pollution. It is a pollution-free uh, fuel cell. Output voltage is 1.23 voltage. So, that is the advantages of methanol oxygen fuel cell. Right? Next. Right. Methanol oxygen fuel cell. Right? So, methanol means CH3OH and oxygen is O2. Cell is made up of two fuel electrodes. One consists. So, in oxy hydrogen oxygen fuel cell, we have same two electrodes. One is carbon. Second one is also carbon. But here we are taking two different electrodes. One is uh, means both are same. But here we coated with platinum and coated with silver. That is the difference. Right? So, two fuel cell electrodes, one consists of nickel plate which is coated with uh, platinum block and other is uh, similar of nickel plate and uh, which is coated with uh, silver as a catalyst, right? We have two electrodes, we have two nickel electrodes, but one is coated with platinum block, another electrode we are coated with uh, silver, right? So, both these electrodes, okay, both these electrodes are placed in 25 percentage of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide and air is allowed to bubble on the surface of silver catalyst right so ikkada air nu kuda manam allow chestunnam silver catalyst paina and also the pressure is very very important that is 35 cubic centimeter of pure methanol is added and the fuel cell is activated so manam ikkada hydrogen place lo manam ikkada methanol teesukuntnam 35 cubic centimeter of pure methanol is added and the fuel is activated. If we add methanol, so fuel cell is activated. Means the chemical reaction is starts, right? When the cell operates, the water vapors and the carbon dioxide liberated at around the electrode. So generally we know very well, anodic reaction and cathodic reactions are takes place, right? So where cathode? the reduction reaction is takes place that means uh, hydrogens and uh, oxygen means oxygen is combined with H plus ions and uh, it liberate as a water molecule. So this water molecule uh, react with uh, methanol, methanol to react out the, it produces carbon dioxide and H plus ions right. So we will uh, see the, the construction of uh, uh, this uh, methanol oxygen fuel cell. You can join the methanol oxygen fuel cell. So, we have two electrodes, one is anode and another one is cathode. So, this is anode, so which is connected through a negative terminal and here. So, this is cathode and which is connected through a positive terminal, right. So, here <coughs> we are taking, uh, here uh, this is anode uh, where oxidation reaction is takes place. Here this methanol is oxidized, uh, methanol is oxidized and which is converted into carbon dioxide and uh, uh, H plus ions uh, with, the react with the help of water molecule. But here cathode where oxidation uh, reduction reaction is takes place. So the, in this reduction reaction the oxygen is reduced as water molecule. Okay. This is general. So the lower here we are taking uh, 20 5 percentage of 25 percentage of so sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide manam fill chest coach. So this is a nickel plate uh, which is coated with platinum and so this is coated with platinum coated with platinum and so this is also a same nickel plate which is coated with silver right okay student right. So the difference between these two electrodes are 200 micrometer. And we are uh, catalyst layers are there. One is platinum, another one is uh, silver. Okay. So this is the uh, overall diagram of uh, cathode and uh, anode. Okay. Right. Next, <coughs> the cell reactions we will write. So the reaction which takes place anode and which takes place cathode. So anode here you can see student. So methanol is oxidized and it is liberates. Methanol. So methanol 
is uh, react with water so three moles of uh, it react with water and it is uh, converts into carbon dioxide and uh, it uh, releases uh, h plus ions plus uh, six electrons so these electrons are very very important in the entrance examination point of view in h2o2 fuel cell four electrons but in methanol oxygen fuel cell six electrons okay right so next uh, manam cathode reaction we will write so this 6h plus and you can see this is a balanced equation e 6h plus plus uh, uh, six electrons react with uh, 3 by 2 mole of oxygen and which converts into 3 moles of water vapor right so the overall cell reaction student 6h plus 6h plus get cancelled 6 electron 6 electron get cancelled i'll write the overall cell reaction one overall cell reaction rather than ch3oh plus 3 by 2 o2 so you can do any you got one more water molecule in the good two moles in the so we will uh, reduce the uh, greater uh, side of products it my products i will change in them that is co2 plus 2h2o vapor right so this is the the overall cell reaction during this cathode and anodic process right so generally the output voltage of this uh, uh, methanol oxygen fuel cell that is plus 1.23 volts okay student right so this is the reaction and what are the applications and uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, methanol oxygen fuel cell we will discuss right so okay student the chemical reactions are balanced and these reactions are very very important right so the advantages right advantages of uh, methanol oxygen fuel cell so here the fuel cells are efficient uh, 75 percentage and it take uh, less time for operation and a takkuva time low in the operation uh, is started and uh, 75 percentage work of uh, 75 percentage efficient uh, fuels me manamu uh, cell reaction carry chai chu alagi we will get uh, the same amount of uh, product okay so it is pollution free so it is eco friendly means there is no uh, um, any kind of environmental uh, uh, disasting uh, disaster disastering gases right any uh, environmental harmful chase it only gases same produce our live so that's why it is a pollution free technique right so next it produces electric current directly from the reaction of a fuel and an oxidizer right సో మనం ఎలక్ట్రిక్ కరెంట్ డైరెక్ట్ గా ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేస్తున్నాం హెచ్ టు ఓటు ఫ్యూల్ సెల్ లోపల కూడా మనము ఎలక్ట్రిక్ కరెంట్ డైరెక్ట్ గా ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేస్తాం ఇక్కడ కూడా సేమ్ థింగ్ రైట్ ఇట్ ప్రొడ్యూసెస్ ఎలక్ట్రిక్ కరెంట్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ఫ్రమ్ ద రియాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఎ ఫ్యూల్ అండ్ అన్ ఆక్సిడైజర్ రైట్ సో ఇట్ ప్రొడ్యూసెస్ డ్రింకింగ్ వాటర్ సో డ్రింకింగ్ వాటర్ ని కూడా మనం ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేసుకోవచ్చు దీన్ని స్పేస్ వెహికల్ లో ట్రావెల్ చేసే వాళ్ళు ఈ ఫ్యూల్ నుంచి వచ్చినటువంటి వాటర్ ను సో డ్రింకింగ్ పర్పస్ లో కూడా యూస్ చేయొచ్చు రైట్ సో వాట్ ఆర్ ద డిజడ్వాంటేజ్ సో డిజడ్వాంటేజెస్ ఏంటంటే the fuel cells cannot store electric energy as other cells do right so ikkada fuel cell nunchi ochina 20 edithe electrical energy ni store chese 20 capacity koncham takkuva ga undi and the second disadvantages is the electrodes are expensive and short life so ikkada evaithe electrodes manam use chestunamo nickel which is coated with platinum and nickel is coated with silver edithe undo avi Uh, expensive platinum and uh, silver are uh, expensive materials uh, expensive metals and kuda cheppochu alage so it is going to be oxidized and it is go where going to be reduced ala avadam valla em avutundi so the life of electrodes will be reduced so these are the disadvantages of uh, fuel cells okay students i hope you understand this video so please subscribe my channel and so please like comment and share